I mean, it's the ultimate in unique. Each one of us brings everything, everything down through the ages to this point in time and space, to this being, this flower that we are, that many of us find it's time for blooming, time for opening now. A lot, oh so much, has gone into the development, but the flowering is now. And so, you're needed. No one can take your place. Nothing that happened to you along the way was an accident. Every bit of it had intent behind it. If not your conscious intent, then certainly your higher self was involved. Source. I don't know. Um, being is, is far more complex and magnificent than uh, we're able to know here in 3D. We're beginning to uh, get a peek here and there with things like fractals. Um, maybe some of you aren't aware that fractals are, are based on mathematics calculations that uh, now that we have more powerful and faster computer imaging, we can, uh, the fractal is the uh, progression of the mathematical calculations. And if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. I'm no mathematician. But they're phenomenal. It's like, for instance, a musical note is a color. Did you know that? Because it's a frequency. And one way to examine and explore that frequency is with the note or the tone it produces. Another is with a color. Now let's, let's bend your mind a little bit more. If you're looking at a red rose, do you know that that rose is everything but red? Red is the uh, color or the frequency it's rejecting. It's absorbing all the rest and it's bouncing back the red. And so to you and to me it looks red, but in reality that's the only thing that it's not. I love paradox. You'll, you'll see and hear me speak of it often. Do you begin to see the beauty in it? It's almost like walking with one foot in one world and one foot in another. To be 3D is to be so magnificent. Mostly we're not aware of it. And we're waking up to that now. We're, we're shaking off all the lies and the nonsense just like a dog that's been hosed down. You know, you just stand there and you give a great big shake and then the water droplets, they go flying. They can't stick to you. And the rest of it, the sun does. And so the light comes along and fills in and expands us out into our own magnificence. I think we're perhaps just light, but I don't know. I don't even know what light is. Light is amazing. I mean, without light and light of a certain brightness, we don't even have color. All we have is black and white. And then there's that magical threshold that's crossed and voila! color. One of the, uh, I'll close with this, one of the most exciting things that's ahead of us is that the higher densities uh, above and beyond 3D, and those are linear words, but you know, follow, get in your heart and follow me here. At the higher density levels there are more colors um, and the Andromedans actually are able to put some numbers to this and I'm not even going to try to put the numbers to it here but I seem to remember that at fifth density where they reside or abide where they hold frequency um, there are two or three times as many colors that we simply have no names for because uh, in 3D they're, they're, they're not there they're not perceivable and so we have magnificence upon magnificence in every step.
in everything in every moment and I really do enjoy taking this walk with you and uh, learning right along beside you have a great day have a great life shine your light it's unique